it's Thursday, it's four o'clock, and you're watching Chelsea and Tony live, where we tell you about photography news and we review your photos. And today we're going to be reviewing your water themed photos. So if you haven't already submitted, you can do that now at scp.io slash submit. You can also submit before the show if you like. Our next show will be in two weeks. We won't be here for the 4th of July, but we will be here on July 11th and we'll be reviewing your silhouette themed photos. So get those ready, get out, get shooting. You might even get a silhouette and a firework if you're lucky. <laughs> So you maybe you should try for that. We have some exciting photo news. News about a Canon EOS R for the Olympics. New Nikon and Sony cameras, too, that are rumored at least. But first, let's take a moment and thank our sponsor, Squarespace. Yes, whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful award-winning designer templates. You don't even have to have an eye for what looks good to have a professional, streamlined, modern, beautiful portfolio. And they have award-winning 24-7 customer support. So if you can't drag and drop, which is what you need to do to make a Squarespace website, you can contact them and ask them what's up. And you can get your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Chelsea and use the coupon code Chelsea to get 10% off. Thanks, Squarespace. And if you've already got a Squarespace portfolio, even if it's a trial, go to sdp.io slash link and give us your URL and we'll review the portfolio. It's a fun thing to kind of dive deep into one individual's work. We have... Chris Reddy here reviewing your comments, so you can... Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. You... Hello, all. <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing fine, just fine. Beautiful day out. It's beautiful it here, too. It is hot, though. Hot, yeah, yeah. So you can submit your questions or comments to Chris, and he'll relay them to us. Let's yep. cover that photography news. Give people a chance to submit. Again, that's sdp.io slash submit. You can do that now. So via Canon rumors, there are viable rumors that a Canon mirrorless and EOS R camera is coming in like the first or second quarter of 2020 for the 2020 Olympics. And it's designed to compete with the 1DX. Like this is the like high end sports camera. And I'm kind of shocked that this rumor is here because I, so often these rumors are true. I would say usually credible rumors like this are true. And when we tested the EOS R, like the focusing system was nowhere near ready to be shooting sports. We tried shooting with telephoto lenses and it was just so frustrating. But this is exciting. This means that Canon, if it's true, it means that Canon has made a leap to be able to focus on fast moving subjects with telephoto lenses. And it is feasible because Sony has done it with the A9 and the A9 has been out for what, a couple of years now? Yeah. So maybe Canon has just cracked that and figured out how to actually do it and it's coming. If that happens, it'll be a real breakthrough because on both the Canon and Nikon side, the focusing of their new mirrorless systems has been the single biggest problem. So I just took a guess at what this camera would look like. Ooh. And I feel like I know Canon pretty well and they know their buyers pretty well and they will make it look as much like a 1DX Mark II as possible. I'm betting the form factor is going to be almost exactly the same, but a little bit thinner and maybe overall a little bit smaller and lighter, but I know they won't go like full Sony and make it really small. I would bet the price point, I would bet the focusing system will not quite match what the DSLR can do. I would bet it'll be a little bit weaker. And for that reason, they'll have to charge a little bit less. Like I think they'll charge 6,000 6, for this, but I bet they'll get a higher frame rate out of it. Probably a full 20 frames per second with an electronic shutter like the Sony A9. And I will bet right now they're at 20 megapixels. I would bet they'd bump the megapixel count just a little bit, maybe 22 megapixels. The rumors are also saying that they will release a DSLR for more conventional shooters. And if they do that, they need to up the up the frames per second. So I would bet they'd go from 14 to 15 frames per second, but with the mechanical shutter, with the viewfinder. And again, I, I bet they'll use the exact same 22 megapixel sensor. Nikon, I don't think Nikon's going to be ready to release a mirrorless sports camera yet. I just don't think their focusing systems are ready for this short time frame, but I bet they will release a Nikon D6, which will, again, like they have been for like the past 30 years, not quite match the frame rate advertised by Canon. That's They like love to outdo each other, but they tend to charge a little bit more and provide a few more megapixels. So I bet that's what they're going to do again. And I also bet, according to SonyRumors.com, they're, they're saying that Sony has registered a new body and I'm betting it's going to be an A9 Mark II. 
but at the same time, I'm unsure because they've released firmware updates for the Sony A9 that have really improved it. And this kind of would be weird for them to be improving a camera so close to the release of a new camera, but there is definite room for improvement. In particular, I think Sony wants to address the weather sealing problems on the A9. I bet they will just add some weather sealing to the existing body. They hate to update their body design. So I bet it's going to be the exact same design. And I bet they would speed up the electronic shutter a little bit, find a way to kill that banding, at least release dual UHS-2 cards so that the buffering won't be as big of a problem. And otherwise, it'll probably look exactly like a Sony A9. I would be excited to see that. Yeah, I would like to see what people are predicting in, in the comments. I'm not going to read them now because I'm doing a show. Yeah, let's take a look at your pictures and see what you submitted for the water theme. Okay, we have so many pictures. So let's like skip through a little bit. This one really strikes me. Uh, Dang. I love these sort of city shots. Let me see if we can get... Uh, okay, one fiftieth of a second, but it was enough that we really captured the movement of the water. What could we do? I just added a little more texture to the water. But yeah, I like that picture a lot. It definitely tells a story. Makes me grateful I don't have a commute like that. Okay, classic right into the sun shot here. We have some god rays coming through. Oh, there's some sensor desks that can Nice colors, here. Bob. Very tranquil. Bob, here's an easy thing to fix. You're at one three thousandths of a second and ISO 400. Anytime you're shooting in good light like this, like just shoot at that base ISO. Just get a little bit cleaner images. You don't know how fast that boat was going. I actually wish we'd seen a little more of the sky. Like, I guess he's staying on point with the water thing, but it seems like there's interesting clouds up there and might be better than just seeing all that water. This is a water photo shoot. We've done one of these before at an event. Yeah, they like hang up a hose and it's got lots of <clears throat> ho like holes in it like you would use to irrigate your garden. Yeah. And then it rains down and you fire a flash at the water so the water gets lit. Okay. You did it. You froze the movement and stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like she's in kind of an uncomfortable pose. I, think. I never get... It's hard for me because I never get the story, but it's like very... It harkens back to like 80s sexy to me. Yeah, exactly. I think... Yeah, it, it, you're right. It doesn't make any sense, really. Okay, aquarium shots of jellyfish. I, I'm actually more struck by similar shots where... The, the background is just kind of like clean and blue because here it's just kind of so cluttered together. Cluttered. Yeah, maybe get one isolated. But I love the colors, the blue and the orange contrast. Oh, like this. <coughs> Chelsea still got a bit of a cough. What's happening? Okay. I, I like the processing you put on that. It's like soft colors and really beautiful, the jellyfish. Yeah. That's nice. Good job, Rodolfo. Um... Sorry, we skipped this picture. I think this is a really interesting scene. She's wearing a shower she's cap. She's got a hair nut on, <laughs> even though she's putting her hand in the water. Yeah, I, I don't get the hair or the, the shower cap thing. But I think the compelling part of the story here is her putting her hand in the water. But the photo includes so many things that are not key to that story. You're already at 70 millimeters, so you can't zoom in any further. Well, but if you I want to see her from the around, other direction. Yeah, I would just <clears throat> rotate around. Or maybe you just didn't get that shot maybe you just couldn't get there in time or maybe you felt like you'd be intruding but either way that would be the shot okay, this is we a have picture. a whole story here the guys it's about to Iceland. erupt the water will turn to steam and rise up about a hundred feet in just a fraction of a second when you were in iceland <laughs> did you get a picture like this no no this looks so frightening like a monster from the deep yeah um cool i like the people in the background i feel like you should have either included them more or less good point Whoa. Dang. And and that's spearing right through him. Look. Yeah, you're right. It actually punctures him. He's like, ow, 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 ow. Okay, good action shot. Interesting. Um, oh gosh, if he had just been tilted a little bit towards us, mm -hmm. then we could have seen more of the fish and the bird's face, but it's still a great shot. Yeah, the way you do that is just with patience. You just keep watching and you just keep waiting. But sometimes, sometimes you watch them for two hours and they won't catch a fish. Yeah. <laughs> but you I've just never, have to like sitting there. I've never even seen this happen, Tony. So the odds of this happening again seem pretty rare. Like I watch these guys all the time and I've never seen them impale a fish of that size and I've never seen the fish scream about it. Okay, Water Gardens by Bob Ray. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely get that that's cool. 
I think it would have been very cool to have a person sitting here, silhouetted, staring into the abyss. It does actually look like they have steps leading down. It looks like the moon door from Game of Thrones. Remember? I remember. <laughs> remember, guys? Game of Thrones? Yep. Lives on in my heart. <laughs> Um, okay, there's something about this. Hmm. I'm letting Chelsea ponder this. I'm one. pondering because it's interesting. I like the movement, but maybe the composition isn't quite interesting. What, yeah. are, what are your thoughts? No, well, you're right. My eye doesn't rest anywhere in particular. I think the, the one eighth shutter speed is interesting. Like it, it's sort of in between making it soft and romantic and actually capturing the action. But you're right, it just, it just needs some kind of focal point. I think, Andy, it might just be a little over-processed because all of the texture in the foreground feels so, like, hard and rough to me. So maybe maybe just back off on that. But, I, I mean, overall, it's really good. I like, I like a lot about it. Oh, Alfredo. This is awesome. Ooh, oh, my gosh. I like his little um, thing, his little watermark. Um, I'm going to give this one a pick. I, you know, I could imagine there'd be a surfer in the curl or something, but this looks great to me. I think it's very good. I'm just playing with the colors a little bit. Chels, can I recount sure. an unrelated story? Yeah. Uh, I asked somebody the other day, we were at a party, did they have a bottle opener? And this dude, he pulls out his, his phone and he puts the bottle cap on his, on, on his phone and uses the edge of his phone to pop off my bottle cap. And I've never felt like more of a Nancy than at that moment. Have you ever known somebody who just like anything can be a bottle opener? I've seen people do it with their teeth. And I'm I was like, just going to say I've seen that, that too. Ooh, it I didn't hurt me as much. That didn't hurt me as much as seeing somebody just when put someone... their, not even the back of his phone. He put the corners, the screen side of his phone <laughs> and pried off my bottle cap. <laughs> That bothers you more than the No teeth. case. No case. Of that course bothers. that dude doesn't. Yeah. This is phone. Yeah. That does not bother. Because whenever someone does it with the teeth, I imagine their tooth just cracking in half right before me. Yeah, like $2,000 in dental work right yeah, there. Yeah, man. I got Invisalign done, too. I'm not messing with making my mouth a bottle opener. I still remember being in Texas one time. A guy took his bottle and just put it right on his dining room table. Dining room table? His dining room just popped it right off. I know. See, that got to you. He doesn't That's respect like the wood. He, he doesn't, doesn't respect the wood. <laughs> Do you know what we're talking about, Justin? I, that is so familiar. Curb David. your enthusiasm. Um, Come on, Justin. Okay. By I gave way, this one a pick. I like the simple colors and the simple composition. I would actually take it a next step and go in and just like clean up some of these little things. Tony, you need to remember the driver passenger rule. I was trying to say something really important. Okay. I didn't know you were done. Yesterday was Justin's birthday. And I feel like everyone needs to know. He was born, everybody. He was born and he's Congrats still on living. being born, Justin, and not dying. Congratulations, Justin. Cheers. Thank you. We went out to lunch. Yeah, it was great. We should have got you a poodle. Very nice. But we didn't. <laughs> Sunrise at the Matterhorn. <laughs> Don't. Uh, I. This is a nice shot. But at the same time, I'm mad. Because Simone got this great angle with this nice foreground. And then these other photographers, they clearly know that they're in a frame and maybe they just she don't did, care. Maybe they're her friends and she wanted them in the picture. Uh, I hope so. But I like her angles. She's got flowers and stuff in there. She's got the better shot and they should get out of her frame. Dang. <laughs> it just We were just in Iceland and it seemed like that was happening all the time. You'd like line your shot up carefully. Do you have Iceland funny. rage? I do. Sometimes, Simone, I like to just warm up the foreground because the shadows tend to get cool. And... I don't know. It's up to you, you know, just telling you some things. We kind of make that photographer pick. etiquette video. I don't want to. It's not everybody gets it. Don't, didn't you see my last video? I'm burned out, Tony. Let's just go eat a pizza and call it a day. <laughs> okay, Viral. You got that, like, horizon line in there. Just got to level it because some people like me. <laughs> um, hmm. This shot. Hmm. I really like, I don't know, am I completely wrong? Like, I I think I want to pull it in on this side a little bit. Okay, well, you, you know, it's an opinion. You can't, let's just see. Symmetry. Yeah. Yeah, I, 
it really gets to me when something is like almost symmetrical. But maybe he had symmetry, but it didn't feel symmetrical because of the imbalanced shape. Hmm. Okay. My only other suggestion is to use a graduated filter to adjust. I feel like in, instead of like harder filters, because you have some edge glow going on here. But I think this is a really solid shot, and I'm giving you a pick. I really, I just like it. Great shot. 52 <laughs> seconds. That's like almost a minute, Chelsea. Whoa. What is this? Rip oh, that's a reflection. <gasps> reflection in Water with Kayak Wake by Benson Gregory. Benson Gregory, you tricked me. I thought the sky was a silk sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be like a new flat earther thing? Yeah. The sky is a silk <laughs> sheet. Silk sheeters. And we're all on a disc. It's made of pizza. Okay. The colors are a little too saturated because you can see the line between the trees and the, the silk sheet are getting a little bit fringy fringe. But you can just... Here, maybe we can go into the blues and... <laughs> That's wrong. That's wrong. Maybe this? I don't know. That helps a little. That's neat. I like what you did. Now look at this little sculpture of water. This is from the Indianapolis Zoo Flower Water Fountain. Yeah, that's neat. really cool. And I don't think I've ever seen a shot like that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Good work. I would actually work with that some more. I think that's a really cool idea. If you could get like cooler background, like more bright colors and stuff. Mm. Um, yeah, I agree. That is... A fountain. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say because, it, I don't know, it is a fountain. Like, you, you did get a shot of it, but the lighting is just kind of midday, and my eye doesn't in particular rest anywhere. Yeah, maybe there could be a story in the foreground, like a swan or, like, kids or something. But you, you did get it. Okay. Black sand basin in Yellowstone. Is this the one that someone tried to swim in? It's, like, very, very low res. I think we got your thumbnail or something. Yeah, but I love the colors, the blue and the orange, very beautiful. Oh, man, speaking of colors, this is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, but there's no um, there's no focal point. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of just this, and I think what could really bring it up is if you, maybe if there was like a starfish on the bottom, or even someone's hand holding a shell out. This is like a good background, I think. Oh, you know what you do? You get somebody in there. With long hair and they put it in the water and then no, they flip no, their no, hair. No, 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 like... no, 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 no. more flippy hair. Stop. No more. Don't. If, if, we're going to see one of those pictures. That's okay. Of course we are. Everybody does Oh, there's a hair. bunch of them. <laughs> Chris <laughs> confirms. <Yeah. laughs> so um, sorry. Okay. I think the shot here, this is an interesting moment. I love the joy that he's having. I think the shot here is going to be to get low and wide and close. Get close to that foot, accentuate the splashing, but still show a little bit of his face. I think it'd also help if he was facing the other direction, so you were getting the sun on him instead of having him mm. this kind of backlit effect because of the reflections. Scholar on the Anacostia. Wow, that's really peaceful. Yeah, this is really nice. I, I like that. I would even... I would take the shot, but I would also try to get like a slow shutter panning shot. I think that could be really cool. Wow. Okay. Good job, John. Oops. This is so fun and summery. I love the bright colors. I love her fun expression. I, w I wish that you had gotten her to loosen up a little bit more because this feels very like, I did it. Boo. Now take a picture of me. Like, kick picture and i think if you could have got her to just do a more natural movement sometimes I'll, I'll tell my models like jump three times towards me and you can catch something a little more natural rather than just very posy posy but i like the styling and the location they fit yeah steve can sell that as stock i think yeah definitely sorry Ooh, close up water drops on a nylon barbecue cover at sunset jim the title Sold it. It sealed it for me. <laughs> I like it. You took something common and you made it interesting. Yeah, there you go. So, Jim, when people tell you, I don't know what to take pictures of, say, water drops in an island barbecue cover <laughs> at sunset, obviously. <laughs> Creek in the Letchworth by Kyle White. Kyle, 
this creek's beautiful. I think you could have done a long, longer exposure and got like a softer look from the water, which also creates a leading line that could go back to that beautiful bridge. And then I think you tried to focus our attention to the water by making the edges all like soft. And I'm, I'm thinking that's not going to be good for you. I think you should just leave it sharp and go with it. What are your thoughts, Tony? Yeah, I, I mean, it has a certain Thomas Kincaid quality to it, but... No. It's not natural. But it's not natural, no. Mono Lake. We have been there. This is Tufa. Remember, Justin? I do. Do you remember when I fell on it? Uh, yep. The first <laughs> night we were there. <laughs> John, you got to get up earlier early john you, yeah it's, it's a early... cool spot but yeah you got to be the first one there you need a backup you need a buddy because that person needs to hit you when you won't wake up earlier for mono lake That's what time the... did we get up that day i don't even know it was so early it wasn't yeah. voluntary for me yeah it was like 5 30 at the latest maybe whoa i'm gonna give this one a pick Do i it. i just love it the colors, the leading line, the person, the drama, the sun behind the water. Like, Hugh, you took this location and you did the most with it. I love it. Oh. Oh, we just This saw is in that. Iceland. Yeah. Wow. Dramatic. Really cool. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like he's going to punch it. It makes me think that he's pulling it out of the, the toy with his mind. <laughs> Don't you feel like mm -hmm. that? That's he's cool. a waterbender. I'll give it a pick. Yeah, it does. It looks so cool because the edges of the water are frozen and his little hand, I think he's trying to pull away from it, but it looks like he's controlling it. It's cool. This is also like a very low res. Okay. Well, very low res. I like the general composition, but the, yeah, it's, it's very low res. They look happy. Hmm. What's happening here? Their hair is green, my friend. Why'd you give these girls green hair? I think there's what? an Instagram y style filter applied what to it. Happened? Yeah. The making their faces purple did not help the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Why have green hair when you can have a purple face? Could it be a reflection from something? I, I don't know. Is it a chromatic brushinka? Uh, no, I Please. I actually don't know why their hair is that color. <laughs> I'm okay with it. What if they just dyed it like that? Now I hurt everybody's feelings. <laughs> but what? Tony, but no, I can't help you. I'm sorry, viewer. I'm sorry, Nathan. I failed you. Let me put this little tool back there. I don't know why I have to do that. That's stupid Lightroom. Okay. I like their expressions. I love the story that they're out on this lake paddling. Um, you know, did that help it a little or have I acclimated to the green? <laughs> <laughs> if it's a candid shot, I think you did well. If you wanted to pose them, I think seeing the dark side of the paddle over here on the left side of the image would make it more obvious because that paddle just kind of disappears and you want that extra contrast. I think it might just be the reflections behind her hair. <laughs> We're still talking about the hair. Huh? There's nothing wrong with me fixating on this. It's totally natural. I also think oh. it wouldn't hurt to get a little bit lower. Now it looks like it's fall. So you see what we did? We could change the seasons. <laughs> That girl in the middle doesn't row. I feel like she's like, man, I'm not going to row today. Had a rough night. Washington, this is in Paris. This is Chris Reddy. Chris, that's cheating a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to just fix this little fringe. I've been fixated on that lately. You can fix that? Psh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought maybe you developed a trick I didn't know about. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just, I go into things with blind confidence. Sometimes you just have to let the blues do what they will. I really think Washington, D.C. is like one of the most photogenic places on the planet. Mm -hmm. There's so many excellent photo opportunities, like just so close and tightly packed together. It's actually a really beautiful city. Oops. I like the shot, Chris. Look at this. He captured Good everything shot, in there. Okay. I didn't save the fringy thing. I'm, so I'm sorry. Wow. Is that supposed to do that? <laughs> yeah. So, Joe, 300 millimeters. Hmm. Okay, so it's just heavily cropped, I think. 
You got him doing a good expression. Whoa. Oh, beautiful shot. Okay. You get a pick. Jasper, great colors. Mm -hmm. You found a good foreground. It tells a story. I'm going to give you a pick as well. It, does, it doesn't mean anything other than that we like it. <laughs> Aperture blade. Nice. I like the softness of the water. I think it adds to the mood of the sunset, this peaceful moment. Got good contrast and drama. Good job. Um, Chris, do you have any... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you have any questions or comments? <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, first of all, uh, a couple of generic questions here. Does Tony prefer Sony, Canon, Fuji, or Nikon at this point? <laughs> <laughs> um, it it totally depends on whether. Well, geez. <laughs> it totally depends on whether I'm shooting for results or shooting for enjoyment of the process. If I'm shooting for enjoyment of the process, I would pick up my XD3. If I'm shooting for results, I'd probably grab either the A9 or the A7R3. Cool. Neat. Yeah. But I am totally open to that changing. And I actually think like Canon is crushing it with their R lenses. And if they release yeah. like a new body, that oh. would be really tempting. Oh. Those F2 zooms, man, or zoom at this point, it's tempting. Shoot. What else, Chris? How often do you shoot with auto white balance? Or do you shoot all the time with auto white balance? I shoot all the time with auto white balance. I'll only change it if it's a problem. There was one specific camera where it was a problem. And I had to change it all the time. <laughs> it was the Nikon Z6. Oh, it was, it was yeah. the Nikons. I had to change the white balance all of the time. So if it's necessary, I'll do it. But generally, you know, I'm shooting raw too. So, yeah. and I always change the color. If there's a picture and I like it, I always mess with you guys see me on the show. I mean, I'm like pretty crazy about all the color. So it's it's all going to be done by hand anyway. So what else, Chris? What would you say would be your best overrate, overrated and underrated lenses? One each. Overrated. I think the um, the Nikon 105, what is it, 1.4? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's overrated. Why you love that lens? You know, I'm telling you right now how I feel about it. I think it's overrated. Okay. It's a weird focal length. And it's like, it's really sharp and it, it can look beautiful. But then it's like, everything looks the same. And I'm kind of over that look. Mm. Okay. But you did make a video titled, I love this lens. That was about that lens. So you, your feelings change have changed. I'm feelings. You're right. I used to like other things more too chicken tikka masala <laughs> when do you change your mind about chicken tikka masala i still like it but i'm not that excited about it anymore i think it's there's too much of it and i think an underrated lens would be oh i really like the 16 to 35 right now what is that is that a signal lens um you've been shooting with the sony oh the sony yeah that's what i'm liking i think a 24 f14 is underrated What's I overrated? Just, underrated. What's overrated? Uh, I don't know. The 105? Kit lenses, like every kit lens. Like, but nobody likes oh, them. They do. Them. People swear by them. No, they don't. Nobody we know. They do. Justin, do you? No. Do I like kit lenses? Do you swear by them? No, no. See? No. Chris, do you swear by them? No, thank you. So that's a sample size of four. Nobody okay. here. Well, We're you spoiled. come out here We're and very say, spoiled with very sharp lenses, though, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what? I'm spoiled. It's okay. Good job. <laughs> Let's look at Chris Overholster's <laughs> portfolio. This is hosted uh, by our sponsor, Squarespace. Um, let's take a look at the about page first. Let's find out what's up with Chris. Okay. I know Chris, Chris. is an outdoorsy guy. Yeah, I like that. Um, landscapes and night shots, cool. I think that your picture is appropriate considering those things. Let's let's take a look. Portfolio. Okay, I was a little confused because then you have portfolio and then you have these these ones. Okay. Wow, these are pretty. I'm scrolling. <laughs> this situation. It's a great picture. Yeah, we got kind gonna, of a smorgasbord of topics here, which is also how I have my portfolio. So I think as it's like his portfolio, he put a little bit of everything. So let's go. I'm gonna ignore that spot color, Chris. 
I'm going to pretend you didn't just break my heart. <laughs> and I'm going to go into macro. And can I suggest that Chris takes oh. off the watermarks from the pictures in this portfolio? Mm. It detracts. We know who the photos are for. If people <laughs> want to steal it, they will anyway. Look at <clears throat> you talk. I can't do things. Anymore. Okay. These are Chris's macro shots. We're looking at his portfolio. Um, I think those are all solid. That's an appropriate amount. I, I think having the portfolio in place is fantastic because, you know, it motivates you to get out there and take more pictures and just like kind of constantly improve it. <laughs> client experience. Now, okay. You have client testimonials on there, which is really powerful. And these are actually great testimonials, but what you don't have is a place to hire you. So I, I guess if you're going to have the testimonials, I would definitely have a page to hire you as well. Otherwise it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I do think it makes sense. Like seems like you're trying to get hired. So add a pricing page. I like this. I've never seen a testimonial page like this before. And that looks good. Yeah. Though I kind of also want to see a picture of the people. Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay idea. just to show the works, but just a suggestion. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, let's see what Chris had to say about Squarespace. Okay. I have to hit F11 here. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hack your site, Chris. Yeah, we are, Chris. Figure you've out how to... You've been duped. Hit. Wait. Oh, you broke it. It's one of these keyboards where I have to, like, hold down some combination to get... Oh, no. You broke it? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Squarespace was easy to set up, register a domain, and begin designing a website immediately. They have templates for many different needs and make refreshing your website design quick and easy. So Chris likes Squarespace. If you want to get your own awesome Squarespace portfolio, you can head to squarespace.com slash Tony. And if you love it, you can use the coupon code Tony for 10% off. You could also use slash Chelsea. But why would you? All she does is cough all show. Rude. Rude. That's why you should use slash Chelsea. I've never been rude. I want to reinforce. Intentionally. But you've never been rude. Unintentionally. Um, Vincent, great shot demonstrating water. Beautiful use of color. <laughs> this is my water demonstration. Look at this pineapple in the ocean. Oh, you why probably want this... to say something rude about it, don't you? It's living my dreams. This is so creative. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like that. I wouldn't mind if it was Tick. pulling its hair back. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't, paper wasp using surface tension. Does it mean to though? Yeah. Or is it just having a really bad day? I like the way it's like little fists are exploding in light. <laughs> I love the color contrast too. I was I was super impressed by this. Dang. <gasps> Dang. I like he doesn't seem to be trying. You don't know what direction the fish is even going. Is it coming in or going out? Is he giving his friend the side eye? <laughs> Do you see that? He's like, dang, he got another one. Nice shot, Mark. I'll give you a pick. That's wonderful. I'd like to witness that in real life. Do we have a water droplet picture? I did a tutorial on this. This is your first ever attempt. You did an excellent job. Nice job, Rach. Um, we saw another really one. cool photos earlier. Oh, okay. Cool. Great use of light there. I love the yeah, black very background. Cool. I thought this one was so interesting. We don't have any other examples like this. <laughs> it's not a comp, which is amazing. I never knew that. Is that Niagara Falls? It exists within a washing machine. Yeah, this is the difference <clears throat> between the U.S. and the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Yeah. This is what it looks like from the U.S. It's sponsored by Whirlpool. You know how America is. <laughs> yeah, we would do that. Um, Beautiful background here. There's something like a little bit unsharp about it. Oh, because you're at 1 640th of a second. And if you're photographing a bird like this and you think you're going to get it catching a fish, you need to be at one four thousandths, maybe one eight thousandths of a second. They move very fast. I tend to go too slow, too. It's a mistake I make time and time again. Well, it's the right shutter speed for shooting them right before they catch the fish, <laughs> but they're going to move very fast when they do get it. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I like have the, having the person in the foreground there. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> what is going on here? I oh my God. like this osprey. The osprey hit the water here, and and then this monster 
alligator gar steals the fish from the osprey i guess like you you get a pick dude i know you put some time into that nature gets a pick as well Uh, i will also encourage you to go a little faster with the shutter speed (laughs) um like i've recently gone to like one twenty five hundredth. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Yeah, he wow. he's just holding on to that. Like, I, I don't think he can eat that. Yeah, he can do it. No. Yeah, he can. <laughs> um, great shot. It's just super clear. I mean, you nailed it at 1 250th, which lets you shoot at ISO 200. It's a great shot. Good job. GBH. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Good pick. Wow. Yeah. 30 mm-hmm. second exposure. Amazing. Um, I'm going to do a re-import. I'm just like... Chris, do you have any questions or comments while we do the re-import? Really my eye. Yeah. Actually, we've got... Jimmy Picks has given $25 to Justin for some beer. And Justin. $10 Ooh. to you for some cough drops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy Picks. Thank you all for the same guy. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy Picks. I'm going to get some cough drops. I might just get a whole new respiratory system. That will work. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Chris? Yeah. Uh, what are there any really good <laughs> sub one thousand dollar mirrorless cameras at this point worth worth recommending? I mean, sub one thousand dollars. The A sixty four hundred is very good. I personally don't like the little tiny buttons and design of it, but it. We've been using it quite a bit lately, and it's actually really good. So I guess that would have to be my recommendation. What was it? The The A6400. I would also check out the Fuji X-T30 or a used Fujifilm X-T2. You might be able to get it for under a grand. So if you don't plan to upgrade a full frame ever, I would go into the Fuji system. This, this guy's beautiful, guy. good yeah. contrast. And then I thought oh, this was cool. Gorgeous. This is um, water in multiple states. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. <sighs> I'm using the texture slider and you see what's happening? I love this new texture slider. <laughs> I'm such a fan of it. Peter, and- I don't know if you took multiple shots but if you didn't, then you could just put it on continuous and rattle off five shots and then stack those images together, mm. just align them. And what that will do is essentially give you a lower base ISO, like combining four <laughs> shots would give you and the equivalent of an ISO 25 shot. And that would help you eliminate that noise, noise in the sky because it's really obvious, right? Yeah, but also, can I tell you, we haven't um, plugged our presets in a long time, but you have a noise reduction preset. Yeah, that's true. So check it out at Northrop.photo. And I think you can still use the coupon code DAD30 to get 30% off. Yeah, DAD30 is still happening. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. Look at this cool lady. Girl. (laughs) That is cool. Wow. She can do that and be in a waterfall. Very cool. Oh, is that in Connecticut, you say? Yeah. Killingworth, Connecticut. Ah, okay. I might just get her to, like, move her hair around in a little deliberate way. This is interesting. It looks kind of sad, like she's forlorn. She's waiting at the showers. Yeah, it's so peaceful, but she held still for 3.2 seconds, so congrats wow. to her. I've literally never done that. <laughs> what else? Just telling the truth. I've tried to take long exposures of Chelsea, and it does not work out. <laughs> she's wiggly. Wiggler. This is gorgeous. This is where Superman was born. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Not everybody knows that. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, I love mornings when the fog is rising oh, off the water like that. And look, its wings are just just a little like you wouldn't even know what a loud and clumsy bastard a Canada goose is. Right now, you know it's like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and then that. when it goes in for landing, it's like it puts its feet down and like trips over itself and makes like a huge flash. But right now, it looks very elegant. I saw someone. Oh, one of my friends. And their Instagram story called them the least polite Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is gorgeous. And this would actually work in next week's theme, which is silhouettes. Silhouette. So get it ready. Let's get a repeat going. Mm-hmm. I am. Oh. Wow. Wow. Pick. Love yeah, the colors. This shot is just gorgeous. It's just like really, I love all the vertical lines of the trees. Wow. 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 
Yeah, and technically just... Per- oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You so, gotta get rid of this. Okay, so I don't know. I almost said technically perfect, Joe. That's something I really reserve. Um, but even just these shapes, like of the reflection, I mean, everything's so beautiful. Yeah. Really amazing. Joseph Gar. It's too bad he's being blocked by the water, but the water is interesting. I don't mind it at all. I just didn't like whatever was at the bottom of the frame. I would, I would just pop feet. that out. Um, no, I mean this white blob down here. But I'm going to give it a pick. I, I would like to see this in a print. I think the colors in the water are so powerful that I love it. Ooh, we disagreed. little splash of yellow. I love the colors in this, the green on mm-hmm. red. <laughs> the water, very cool. Let's let's go out and let's see what catches our eye. Ooh, we had a lot of pictures for this one. You guys did a great job. Oh, the, oh, my long exposure. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. I like the story of the people mm-hmm. going to see it. Pick for you. Um, what were you gonna say? I saw the caption of this. Can't wait to meet my firstborn. Aww. That's the sweetest thing. I'm so happy for you, Chris. Pick. What a beautiful shot, too. Like I was gonna give you a pick just based on the thumbnail, but. But then the caption, like, we want to give you a pick and a hug. Um, One thing, it looks like your firstborn might be just, like, standing right there. Maybe it's <laughs> hugging mom's leg or something. I think she has her knee out, but it's it, since I can't see your feet, it's a little hard to explain. I can explain it. I know how <laughs> legs just work. just her knee? Yeah, I know where legs, how legs work. I just try to provide some constructive feedback. It's an awesome <laughs> shot. Um, This is a gorgeous cool. shot, Issa. I'm gonna I'll, give you a pick too. I really I love like the story. It. Without that surfer there, you don't get a, you know, a complete story. And I love that. Mm-hmm. There's no water in this shot. Tricked again. Look at this person. Oh, you're tricky, Edward. You're a little. I see what you there. did there. I think I might just take this all the way to black and white, and because the I shadow is some, so cool. Some water droplets. I mean, I know, but you're right. It's an interesting element. Oh, icy. It looks so warm. And then I saw the ice. You really tricked me. I want to see the waves crashing above the horizon. And you could do that by getting a little lower and a little closer. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you would have See, died. I've tried to do that before. And sometimes the waves aren't going high enough. And then he was shooting down on the rocks, which were making the composition better. Sometimes you can't have it all, I've noticed. And that's just a little life lesson. Ken, can I look at the dog that's spinning water? Mm-hmm. I think these shots are so cool. Oh, this might even work well in black and white. Yeah, one sixty four hundredth of a second is really key here. It's really tough. Um, love the shot. Told you there were a lot go. of shots like this. So oh, cute. Really? Hair flipping. We will accept it with dogs. We will accept yes, dog that's cliches. Acceptable. That's um, beautiful. Gorgeous composition here, Johnny. That you get a pick, Johnny. Awesome shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cute. Naked baby. Naked little baby. Okay, you get a pick, Eric. That that is an adorable scene. I don't I don't think I've ever seen this setup before with the strawberries. What if you were just walking and you found that? <laughs> like it's a baby in its natural habitat. Oh, they did the strawberry drop. Interesting, Linda. Very cool. That's a good project to try. Um, we're just trying to find our next. Yeah, candidate who's our here next victim? Really strike this it. dude. The dog's pretty much. Oh, yeah, cute expression. I love this shot a lot. Wow, great yeah, mood, Adam. I saw like a, just a gorgeous composition here that was apparent from the thumbnail. Oh, it's Erlen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I wasn't being biased, but he's our friend. But this is this is an amazing shot. Um, I, I don't. You want the model? Is here this to a self just, portrait? I was wondering that too. It does look like it could be Ireland, but don't you want him just in front of the street because he's kind of getting lost against these rocks here? Like if he were standing just like a couple of feet to the left, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to consider it, but it's something to consider. And he also Subject likes separation. a sixteen to thirty-five. So it's like we have so much more in common than I thought. <laughs> Pit. Um, yeah, definitely check out his Instagram. He's amazing. <clears throat> All right, what else? Chris, do you have any <laughs> questions or comments? <coughs> if or your cough, cough goes on longer than we do. three months, should you go see a doctor? 
I tried <laughs> to ask a doctor in my live stream, but they we don't know any. <laughs> yeah, here's a, 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 a timely question for Fourth of July shots. Any tips or suggestions? Anything other than fireworks? Um, yeah, definitely. The expressions of people watching the fireworks, the reflections, silhouettes of people. Um, there, sometimes there's smoke when people do fireworks, and it's cool to get that into the shot. And then I feel like when there's a celebration with fireworks, um, the fireworks are kind of a backdrop to a bigger celebration. So you can get like kids with cotton candy or family shots, almost like street photography. We should do a video on that. Um, for me, the 4th of July, I think of just barbecue, yeah. being a Texas boy. And I would, I like those shots where you get in close on the grill and you show like the steam coming up. Little bits of storytelling like that are, are like a good thing to mix into your overall story of what happened that day. And the things like, I don't know, the kids playing by the lake or the pool or whatever you happen to be doing. <laughs> When I was growing up, the 4th of July was always marked by Will the Willie Nelson concert. Yeah. Oh, nice. Which, I don't know, is just like such a crazy event <laughs> to go to every year, especially as a kid. I don't know if Willie Nelson is still doing concerts or not. He's cool. Oh, yeah. I'll bet, I'll bet he is. Oh, yeah. I guess I meant more specifically the 4th of July concert, but that uh, dude doesn't seem to have aged out of anything. He no. still seems to be going hard. Um, I, I think this is fantastic. Brian, you definitely get a pick. I look at birds in the yeah. bird bath every day and i never thought about putting darth vader with a beer in there <laughs> that's a delight <laughs> yeah i thought that was funny like how beautiful this is where what? is this james bombelays i i want to go sign me up james i have never oh it's, oh, it's somewhere in austria right oh where is it austria well i don't know but in that region right let's let's creep on the signs Wait, that's called lock capsule. I don't know. Help. We're enraging people right now. They hate it. It could just be that there's a German restaurant there. Okay. Well, I don't even know words, so yeah, you pick. Get a pick. Tell me where you are. And, oh, look, that's beautiful. Like a beautiful portrait of a dog. I'm that's just going to take a little bit of the greens out. the heck my mouse has just been weird that's beautiful good job good work christopher oh lovely beautiful great composition i love that you have something in the foreground i love the colors <clears throat> looks great i want to see what's this is this a <laughs> it's so cute he's a little close to the edge of the frame if you could like step to the left a little bit oh it's another small picture give a little bit of room to breathe yeah, just um but I, overall i really like that you have that animal in there just to tell, tell the story um what <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah i'm gonna give it a pick yeah it's got it's got everything if how you come, how come you've never done a beach photo shoot with me and the dogs if you could have like made a funny sound and gotten the dog to turn its head a little bit like bonus points to get that dog eye contact in there but i know dogs are like the most reliable models um that's a gorgeous shot and i really like that stone in the foreground mm -hmm. like that's it just gives you it's like that one it's thing it needs right between yeah. here and here you gave us a little balance you get a pick guys excellent yeah really people good. people did good this week um what else is really striking you i guess we can just Get out of here and maybe answer a question on I want a cough out. drop so bad. Let's take one more question. Okay. This is the most beautiful shot I've ever seen of the Austin skyline. It's a difficult city to photograph and make look good pick. because things are so flat. But yeah, you get a pick. What you got for us, Chris? I'm finish up with a gear question here. <laughs> okay. okay. In generic terms, any suggestions? A new photographer has an APS-C camera going to buy a full frame camera but generally are there some pitfalls to look out for things to avoid or to know about switching from APS-C to full frame what should he be aware of um well first avoid the thing that people do where they have 
f2.8 lenses for their APS-C camera, and then they upgrade to f4 lenses for your full frame camera because you're going to get the same results. I've gotten so many emails from people who say, I upgraded and my pictures don't look any better. Yeah, keep in mind crop factor. Um, it's only going to matter if you also get faster lenses. That's the, really the only reason to upgrade to full frame is because you want to take advantage of the fastest full frame lenses that are available. Otherwise, just like, don't bother. Um, I would also say like, most systems will allow you to put your APS-C lenses on your full frame body, but don't do that because you'll just be using a small part of the center sensor and you would do better off continuing to use your APS-C sensor than doing that. So um, our partners, KEH, I would go there and get rid of all your APS-C gear and then buy it all in with the new yep. full frame Gear. That's what we did. We sold the first stuff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris, for moderating. Thank you, Justin, for running all the switchy button thingies. And sure. thanks all of you for watching. We'll see you in two weeks. The theme is going to be um, silhouettes. Silhouettes. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Squarespace, for making this show possible. You can get your free trial today. No credit card needed. You do not have to remember to cancel. It just ends when it ends. And you can go to squarespace.com squarespace slash Chelsea and use the coupon code Chelsea to get 10% off if you decide you'd like to keep it. Thanks, Squarespace. Thanks. See y'all. That is all. <clears throat> Thank you. I would really like a 